I've been here for three days and I still have no idea what this wheel arch is going to look like. So I basically just need to cut some metal out, stick it onto the body and see where we go because I'm massively overthinking it. So I've got a bit of a pattern. Let's cut some metal out and uh, stick it on. Right, so I've got this, this piece cut out, and again, I'm honestly just playing with ideas. I don't know what this is gonna look like, how it's gonna come out. I, I can't really, I can kind of picture it a little bit, but not really. Um, it's gonna want a bit of radius on this, I think. We can't have everything be straight. Um, it's gonna want a little bit of uh, Astra GTE Mark I wheel arch, or maybe a bit of Mark I Nova type arch at the back, like a Nova GTE. Um, like a slightly boxed wheel arch, but with a bit of curve in it. So I'm going to put a slight bit of roll in this. I mean, I could do it with my hands, but I just want it so I could, don't need to hold it. Slight bit of curve in this, and then I'm going to cut a piece to attach it onto the body. So yeah, let's put a bit of roll in it. Just needs a tiny bit, and then yeah, attach it to the car body. Probably a bit too much, but that always happens. Right, so put a little bit of roll on it now and cut a kind of a bit of card out. So it's got a slight radius on this bit of card, which more or less matches the roll. Now I know what you're thinking, symmetry. Got to try and do this on the other side. I ain't even thinking about that yet. I'm just thinking about getting this so that that looks something like that. Obviously lots of gaps to fill in, etc. But it's got to start somewhere and I need to be able to start visualizing it. So I'm going to cut this out, tack it on, tack it onto the car body, and then we'll have something that we can start to chop, add, tape over, put fill bit, fill in bits of card um, without me having to move it every time because it, it's no good holding it like this i can't stand back and look at it and so yeah cut that out tack it on and uh, go from there I'm pretty happy with how this is looking initially. What I need to do is trim a bit more off the bottom of this panel so I can get it right flush into the side skirt. The plan is, again, for, don't forget, this is just messing around. I'm not gonna use this, which is why I'm not being accurate about it. Because obviously I, I'll want to try and be symmetrical on the other side. Not being accurate about it. What I'm trying to do initially is um, just, just flash it out, flash out the idea. So I'm gonna cut the bottom off this so I can get it I can get this to line up with the very top fold of the side skirt. And then I can decide what I'm gonna do about this piece and that other piece, and I'm just gonna cut it. Right, I've had a bit more of a think, generating a bit more of an idea. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out a big chunk of this so that I can pin it back a little bit. We've obviously cut this bottom edge out now. Um, yeah, so that I can pin it back a touch um, and then I can 
put some card in and begin to imagine what the front of that wheel arch might look like. But I've got a bit of a vision in my head now. It maybe isn't translating on the screen, but stick with me because I know what I'm doing. Right, so a bit of a development, um, cut a bit more out, got a slightly better idea where we're going with this now, I think. Um, I'm just I'm just like trying to rough this out in tape, um, trying to make like a bit of a, a tape wheel arch, just so that I've got something to take off of the car um, to give me the rough shape that I need. <sighs> Honestly, this is really difficult because You've got, to, you've got to be able to like visualise it, and only from certain angles can you really see it, see what it, what it might look like. Um, but we're getting there now, and yeah, I, I'm kind of excited to see it come together. So I'm going to like try and make like, I'm going to put a, a ton of tape in here, hopefully peel it off semi-successfully, transfer that onto some card, cut the card out, trim the card out so it's a bit closer, then get some steel, cut the steel slightly oversized, and then just keep trimming it back until it's in there. Yeah, I think this is, we're gonna end up with something that's just gonna sweep around and away to nothing, hopefully. So yeah, tape, card, steel, and uh, we'll see where we get to. To be honest, it doesn't need to be perfect. Yes, boy. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like the skin of a snake. <laughs> oh, professional. <laughs> Would you like me to build you a car? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is how I shall do it. <laughs> this is how this is the styling department. <laughs> Right, so I've got this cut out and it's actually looking pretty good to be fair. Um, again, it's really hard when you don't really know what look you're going for just when you start out, but um, it, it is, yeah, it, it's a shape and it's a shape that looks okay. So we've got some ideas around like what we're gonna do about the door. Um, I think we're actually just gonna go and cut the door and kind of reshape the, the kind of back edge of the door line. So rather than as having this whole section here, we'll actually just cut that. Um, that is basically just door skin there. So we can cut that um, and so that the door can open without having to have this whole section of wheel arch on the door, which makes it actually quite a lot easier. Again, this is still prototyping. I'm not gonna use this. What I'll eventually do is cut this off and use it um, to make measurements for the kind of final wheel arch. But what I'm gonna do now is start tacking this on um, and then probably you know cut some relief into it to try and get it to fit better maybe as i go i don't know it's hard to say uh, but yeah i'm just gonna kind of start tacking it and, and see how i get on
Right, so um, I'm pretty happy with that. It's not, it's not perfect, obviously, but it, it gives a good idea of the direction that I think we're gonna go in with this. I'm sure there'll be some people at home that absolutely hate this, think it's like the worst thing you could possibly do because it's, it's not sleeper at all. You know, it's very like, I guess more of a slightly modern take on what a wide arch princess would look like. But, but I like it uh, and that's really all that matters. So yeah, we're gonna have a look at the back half now. Again, knowing that this really isn't gonna be the finished article, it's just to give us an idea so that when I come to make it, I kind of know what I'm shooting for. And like I say, we're, we're gonna have to like reprofile the door. Um, and we've got, a, you know, we've got like a little bit of a gap down here to fill in. We'd have to change the angle of that slightly. But those are all things that we can do when we try and, you know, have a go at making it as the final piece. And obviously that doesn't fit either. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a look at the back now, see what we can do there, see if we can come up with another idea. Right, so I think um, I think we're going to have a go at doing this kind of the same as at the front. I, I didn't know what we were going to do at the back. I mean, I kind of like the idea of leaving the arch open, um, but I do also like the idea of having a lot of uh, tyre exposed. So, again, this is just like physical workings out. This is just getting some thoughts down, and it might not be what the car ends up looking like. This is where YouTubers go put your suggestions down in the comments and then they ignore them because they just do what they want to do. <laughs> but yeah, this is where some suggestions might help. I don't know. Um, it can be quite hard to suggest uh, unless you can physically point and touch. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this just like I did at the front, um, cut it all the way around, relieve this again um, so that I can drop it down a bit. And then I'm going to use the same pattern. I know it's not going to be very close, but it'll save me going through all the tape process again. Use the same pattern, throw that in there and, and see what it looks like. So basically just cut this out, which is the same as the other side, because I think it's close enough. The, the profile is, is kind of the same, even though the door is much straighter down the bottom. Obviously it doesn't have this, doesn't have the big drop off that the, like the rear valance has, but that's okay. Cause like I say, I'll end up, I think just adding some in anyway, but yeah, it's going to be close enough to, to give us a visualization of what we need. So I'm just going to tack this on same as I did the other side. And what we've actually ended up with inadvertently is quite a flat top across here, which is very princess-like. The princess has a very flat topped wheel arch, especially on the back, even more so than the front. So yeah, I think we maybe just did that by accident, but I think it, it's very princess. So yeah, I'm gonna get this tacked on and, and see where we get to. Hi there. All right, so I've got this back half tacked on. I don't know, we're a little bit unsure about the shape of that and how it's coming out. Um, I think one of the tricky aspects of the back is we don't have um, anything to kind of go off as such. So we haven't got a, a point to aim for. And we did have that at the front here with this side skirt. But I think as a rough concept, this is pretty good. I did flatten off 
this top edge, th this lower edge to match the top edge. Again, it's a bit more princessy. But yeah, I think as as I just needed to get something down, flash something out to then get the cogs whirring and give me, you know, a few weeks to now keep looking at this and and kind of see where I've gone wrong and, and try and uh, come up with another idea. Obviously, if you have got any comments, let me know. I'll try and decipher them. Again, it can be a very hard thing to try and translate via, via text as such. But yeah, um, hopefully this has given you an idea of what the princess might now look like from the outside. Because up until now, it's just been very much uh, wide wheels stuck on a princess body and we're now starting to look at some of the more aesthetic parts of the uh of the kind of exterior of the princess so uh i'm excited i think the front half of this wheel arch looks really cool blending in with the side skirt i think it looks really really cool yes it, there's a lot of tidying up to do and yeah I, I'm, I'm happy with it so yeah like uh, hopefully this has been interesting to watch the process um and we'll see you in the next one